Hello, welcome to Valve Channel. I'm Stephen. Now, in front of me is Shanghai Hongqiao Commercial Area, and behind me is the China National Exhibition Center. Today, we will go there to visit a Valve Expo located in Shanghai, China. Now we are in the exhibition area. Let's go inside to find out what kind of valve we can find in this exhibition. First, let's look at a ceramic gate valve. This kind of gate valve can work in very hard flow median flow control system, especially when it's going to control the cold median flow inside. When this kind of gate valve works in the cold flow median inside, the cold flow median will not destroy the sitting face inside the valve because we're going to use a ceramic sitting face to protect the valve and also we're going to use ceramic to protect the gate. So this kind of gate valve sitting face are much harder than other kind of valve. So it can work in very special flow control system. It can work in very high temperature industry. The next one is a ecocentric semi ball valve. This kind of ball valve before I already talked about. When we're going to open this kind of valve, the ball will immediately left the sitting face. The valve seat sitting face will immediately left the ball sitting face because this valve is one kind of semi-eccentric ball valve. And also we're going to use the same principle to protect the valve sitting face. We're going to use a ceramic valve seat and also going to use a ceramic ring to protect the ball. So when we're going to use this kind of ball valve in the industry, if the flow median it contained a lot of hard material inside, the material will not destroy the sitting face. You are going to protect the sitting face. Here is a triple offset butterfly valve. This triple offset butterfly valve, the special thing is we're going to use a sitting face. The ring are not located on the disc. The ring are located on the valve body. The triple offset butterfly valve before I already talked about, when we're going to open this kind of valve, the disc sitting face will immediately left the valve seat sitting face. So this kind of valve, when we're going to open it, it has no rubbing. So this kind of butterfly valve will have long lifetime. Let's look at uh, some forged uh, valve. This one is a uh, forged gate valve and uh, forged ball valve. This one is three-piece forged ball valve. It has a three-piece and a board inside the valve body. The body are forged by the carbon steel. And uh, this one is a forged gate valve. The gate valve, all the components are made by forge. And the flange are widening on the valve body. This kind of gate valve always work in the high temperature and the high pressure working environment. Except uh, high temperature working environment, uh, we also we can see this kind of uh, gate valve also can work in low temperature environment. The temperature can work in lower than 100 Celsius degree. This kind of gate valve, most of the time we are going to use widening connection to connect uh, the valve with the pipeline. Except uh, this kind of low temperature global valve, we also have another kind of low temperature global valve. This kind of low temperature global valve can work in the temperature lower than 119 Celsius degree. The reason why this kind of global valve have very long neck because it's going to protect the parking on this area. If we don't have this kind of long neck, if the parking are located in this area, the low temperature will destroy the parking. So that is the reason why we design this kind of low temperature global valve have very, high, very long neck on the top of the valve. Here we have two kind of different material forged gate valve. This one the material is A105, it's carbon steel. And the reason why this one, even though the tape is the same, but uh, the color is different. The reason why we use blue color to print on this valve because the material are special. It is used F11 material. Before we already talk about the material, high temperature steel. This kind of material can work in the temperature higher than 500 Celsius degree working environment. This kind of low temperature global valve, you can serve the liquid hydrogen and the liquid nitrogen. 
It's manufacturing, it has a TS certification. And also the material is CF8. This kind of material are perfect working in the low temperature environment. This one is a forged check valve. The flow medium can flow from this side to another, but it can it cannot flow back because the check valve it has a disc inside. The disc can move up and move down. When the flow medium flow from this side, the disc will going up to open the valve. But if the flow medium flow from another side, it will push the disc to close the valve. This check valve, the material is A105. It's one kind of forged carbon steel. In China, not all the manufacturers are going to produce all the valve components by themselves. Some manufacturers are going to produce the valve component uh, only. Just like this manufacturer just are going to produce the ball for the ball valve. Let's look at uh, some special ball from this manufacturer. First, let's look at uh, this kind of three-way ball valve ball. It is a L tape ball valve ball. Actually, the valve stake already connected with the ball. The manufacturer already connected the stake with the ball. So the manufacturer don't need to produce a stake for the ball valve. This is a V ball. It's one kind of control valve ball. The reason why we produce a V on this valve because the V was going to control the valve CV. When we're going to open the valve, when we're going to open the valve a, li a little bit, it was going to have a small CV for this ball valve. When we're going to open more, the valve will have very high CV. So this kind of ball valve was going to control the valve CV, especially in the control valve. This ball valve is a little bit special than others because most of the time we are going to use casting or forging to make material become a ball. But uh, this ball valve, the ball, are not made by casting or forging. We are going to use a stainless steel pipe and then we cut the pipe become this side and then we are going to use a very special machine to push the pipe become a hemisphere shape. So this kind of ball valve, the material are very special. Just like uh, this example. Actually, before, the material is uh, one part of the pipe, and then we push the material become a ball. So this kind of ball valve, the material are special than other kind of ball valve ball. Here is a lined butterfly valve. The reason why we use the line to protect the valve body because some kind of butterfly valve while working in the flow medium are very sensitive. The flow medium are very corrosive. So we use the PTFE. We put the PTFE inside the valve body. And also we're going to use the PTFE to protect the valve disc. So this kind of butterfly valve, when it works in the flow control system, the flow medium, even though are very corrosive, it will not going to destroy the valve disc and the valve body. So now we can see very clear about this kind of butterfly valve. We're going to use the PTFE to protect the valve body. And also we're going to use the PTFE to protect the valve disc. And also we can use this kind of material going to protect the body too. So when we're going to use this kind of valve in the flow control system, all the valve body already be covered by the PTFE. So the corrosive flow medium will not going to destroy the valve body. The valve will have a very long lifetime. This valve are a little bit special. We can see the first flange are very thick. The next flange are very thin. The reason why we design this kind of ball valve because this kind of ball valve will work in the tank industry. We were going to disassemble this very thick flange and then going to widen this kind of flange on the end of the tank. And then we're going to connect the valve body with this very thick flange. So this kind of ball valve only works in the, in the bottom of the tank in the industry. Let's take a look at some ball valve. This one is a one-piece ball valve, and uh, this one is two-piece ball valve. And uh, here we also have three-piece ball valve. Except uh, this ball valve, we also have three-way ball valve. It can control the flow medium from three-way to the valve. One-piece ball valve are a very special kind of ball valve because the valve body don't have 
any place the medium will be leak. So this kind of ball valve, the valve body will never get leak. And beside this big one-piece ball valve is another kind of one-piece ball valve. The valve lengths are much shorter than this one because it's going to use different uh, standard. Here we have a special color ball valve. This ball valve color is black. The reason why this ball valve color is black is because we're going to soak this valve body in special chemical pore. And uh, the black color we're going to protect uh, the valve body will not get uh, corrosive very quickly. So this kind of ball valve, even though the valve body is carbon steel, but uh, it will not get corrosive very quickly. Here we have two special designed uh, triple offset butterfly valve. This kind of long neck triple offset butterfly valve will work in the low temperature flow control system. Most of the time this kind of butterfly valve will going to control the natural gas like the LNG flow control industry. The reason why we're going to design this kind of long neck on the top of the butterfly valve because we're going to put the parking on this area. <laughs> If we're going to put the parking in the top of the valve body, the low temperature will going to destroy the parking, so the valve will leak. So that is the reason why we design this kind of triple upside butterfly valve with a very long neck. And beside uh, this small triple upside butterfly valve, we have another one. This one is a little bit special. The reason why we design this kind of flange going to cover this area because this kind of butterfly valve we are going to if we if the valve the ceiling face going to leak the valve seat we can going to change from this area so we can open this area going to change the valve seat inside Let's look at uh, this pneumatic control ball valve. This ball valve already mounted the two control options for the user. First option is the gearbox and another is the actuator. If we're going to open this valve, we can use the hand wheel to open this, gear, this ball valve. If we want to use the automatically control system to open this ball valve, we can switch the control action from here and we can use the pneumatic control to control this ball valve. We were going to put the gas from the filter and the filter will clean the gas and put in the solenoid valve. And the solenoid valve was going to push the air inside the actuator. The actuator was going to push the valve stand going to turn it so the ball valve will be open. And on the top of the actuator is the limit switch. This kind of limit switch, the function is going to tell the user the position of the valve. The valve is in the open position or in the closed position. This very thick pipe is the anti-explosion pipe. The function is we are going to connect the solenoid valve and the limit switch together and we can put the connection line from this area. So this is the totally well-designed ball valve. We can control it by the hand wheel and also can control it by the actuator. Here is a V-ball control valve. This V-ball control valve is going to control the CV from the valve. The V-ball will very accurately to control the CV from the valve. We have the actuator and the positioner. The positioner is from the cement. The basic principle is we are going to push the gas from the filter and the filter is going to push the gas in the position and we will give the position the signal. The signal we are going to push the gas to the actuator. So the actuator is going to control the valve stand to open and close the valve in different degree and a different degree will make the valve have different CV. So that is the basic principle for this kind of V-ball control valve. Here is a pneumatic control global valve. The basic principles are very similar with the ball valve. We are going to use the air going to control the valve going to open and close. We will put the gas from here after filter going to the solenoid valve. This valve actuator is going to move up and move down. The cylinder and the pistol are inside. So we have two pipes going to connect a different area. We can switch the solenoid valve that the air 
put a uh, down upside and downside, so the actuator can move up and move down to open and close this global valve. Here is a very special ball valve. This ball valve is a fully welded ball valve. This ball valve was buried underground. The reason why this ball valve it has five pipes on the valve body, it has a special function. This two pipe is going to protect the valve seat. When the valve seat are destroyed, we can use some special material put inside, and the material will going to flow inside the valve seat, so the valve still can seal the flow media inside the flow control system. And uh, except uh, this two pipe, this middle pipe, the function is the same. If the valve leak from this area, we also can put the special material inside the valve body in the parking area. So you can protect the parking area, let the valve not going to leak. And we have another two pipe. These two pipes, the function are different. One pipe is going to connect with the bottom of the valve. This function is, this if the valve inside the valve body, it contains a lot of dust flow medium inside, we can use this pipe to let the dust medium flow outside. And another pipe is going to connect with the cavity. So if the cavity has pressure, we can use this pipe to release the cavity pressure to outside. So five, five different pipes have five different functions for this uh, fully winding buried uh, ball valve. Here is another fully winding buried ball valve. The function is the same. This ball valve, the valve body, it has five pipes are located on the valve body. And the five pipes, the function is the same. This one, two, three pipe is going to protect uh, the valve seat. If the valve seat are leak, we can use some special medium we can put inside the pipe. And uh, the special medium are going to seal the valve. And also we can protect uh, the parking area with this pipe. And another two pipe, this valve, this pipe and this pipe, the function is different. This pipe is going to connect uh, with the bottom of the valve. This area, it always accumulates a lot of dust inside. So we can use this pipe to clean the valve. And another is going to connect uh, with the valve body cavity. So if the cavity have pressure, we can use this pipe to vent in the cavity pressure inside the valve body to protect uh, the valve body. Here we have another very special ball valve. This ball valve is six inch size and 2,500 plus class and the material is a105 is one kind of forged carbon steel this ball valve the size and the pressure are very high it can work in very special working industry it is designed by api60 and the flanger you can see are very thick and we use the rj connection to connect uh, the flanger with the pipe so in this exhibition, except the valve, we also have some kind of equipment going to produce valve. Just like this special machine, it can produce the gate valve sitting face in one time. This exhibition contained a lot of brand from valve industry. I will continue to record most valve in this exhibition. Thank you for watching this video. Bye bye.